Hey everybody, how's it going? I hope you're having a lovely day. Here I have Clinton the cat on the chair with me. As you can see, he is sleeping, so I'm going to try not to wake him because he deserves to take a nap. So today what I'd like to go over is a video that I did two years ago. It said Tesla replaces radar with nothing. Kneecaps functionality. Be aware when taking delivery of your car. In this video, I was going over the fact that Tesla was removing radar sensors from their car. Teslas like the Model 3, Model S, Model Y, and Model X have a feature called Autopilot where you can turn autopilot on and it will do the driving for you in certain scenarios. Sometimes it drives well, sometimes it drives like a 13 year old on crack, but for the most part, it, it was a pretty impressive feature five or six years ago when you didn't have stuff like GM Super Cruise or Ford's features and functionality. And you know, the car could lane keep on a highway and keep its distance from something else and it can even make right and left turns now. Again, uh, not that I would trust the two, but it can, which was kind of cool. And they have a bunch of cameras in the car, they have ultrasonic sensors in the car, and they have radar in the car, so that it has an idea of what's behind it, what's in front of it, and so on and so forth. Now in 2021, when there were a lot of supply chain issues and inflationary issues, Elon Musk said that we would like to have a pure vision system because we believe that that's better. We're not trying to save money by cutting sensors. We're not cutting customer safety. We're just trying to make the system better. Sure. So after they put this out for several months, you were not able to have a close following distance. You had the top speed lowered by a substantial amount because, again, the system kind of ha has to relearn how to do everything without radar. Now, when this came out, there were a lot of comments that I was getting saying, Lewis, why didn't you mention that they still have ultrasonic sensors? Lewis, why didn't you mention they still have ultrasonic sensors? They still have ultrasonic sensors in the car. Because they took those away, too. These cars have no ultrasonic sensors or radar sensors. Now, at the time, the reason that they were saying they were getting rid of this was because of phantom braking issues. There was a big issue where the car would think something was in front of it when it wasn't. It wasn't that the car would crash into what's in front of it. Rather, the opposite. When you have autopilot on, you don't want to keep your foot hovering the brake. You need it hovering the accelerator because while you're going down the highway at 70 miles an hour, it may just decide to hit the brakes at full blast. That was a common issue. And they were going to get rid of radar, not because it makes the car cheaper to manufacture, but because you'll have less phantom braking. Which, again, just like, well, we're moving radar, but we're keeping ultrasonic was BS. Um, so is this. So this is a bunch of complaints from the National Highway Traffic and Safety Administration talking about the number of complaints regarding phantom braking. And many, if not most of these vehicles were vehicles with VINs that don't have radar in them. So this comes from Electric. It says, Tesla engineers tried to convince Elon Musk not to give up radar for self-driving. A new report states that Tesla engineers tried to convince Elon Musk not to give up radar for its autopilot and self-driving effort. Tesla has a weird history with radar sensors for its autopilot and full self-driving vehicle programs. The automaker decided to remove its front-facing radar and more recently the ultrasonic sensors from its sensor suite. Yeah, th th this part really ticks me off over here because you had so many stands in my comment section saying they got rid of radar because they have ultrasonic. You don't need radar if you have ultrasonic already, idiot. They, they, they got rid of them both, but... Continuing, it's all part of its Tesla vision approach, where the automaker believes that the best way to achieve self-driving capability is through cameras being the only sensors. Again, it's nothing to do with saving money. The logic is that the roads are designed to be operated by humans who operate cars through vision and biological neural nets, the brain. Tesla believes that the best way to replicate that is through cameras to replace the eyes and neural nets running on a computer to replace the brain. The company removed the radars on its vehicles in 2021 and removed the ultrasonic sensors last year. Funny, that's around the same time that this complaint came out. All these people saying their cars are stopping for no good reason. However, we now learn that not everyone at Tesla was on board with this significant change. A new report from SFGate, which claims to have talked to several former Tesla employees, describes an effort to try to convince Musk not to remove radar. Some Tesla engineers were aghast, said former employees with knowledge of reaction, speaking on the condition of anonymity for fear of retribution. They contacted a trusted former executive for advice and had to talk Musk out of it. In previously unreported pushback, without radar, Teslas would be susceptible to basic perception errors if the cameras were obscured by raindrops or even bright sunlight, problems that could lead to crashes. The report claimed that Musk overruled the significant number of engineers who tried to warn that removing radar would be problematic. The report goes as far as linking the removal of radar to an uptick in accidents related to Tesla autopilot. Musk was unconvinced and overruled his engineers. In May of 2021, Tesla announced it was eliminating radar in new cars. Soon after, the company began disabling radar in cars already on the road. The result, according to interviews with nearly a dozen former employees and test drivers, safety officials, and other experts, was an uptick in crashes, near misses, and other embarrassing mistakes by Tesla vehicles suddenly deprived of a critical sensor. 
However, the situation was a little more complicated than that. Electric spoke to Musk around the time of the removal of radar, and the CEO was mostly frustrated with the quality of the radars and still believed that higher definition radars would improve autopilot slash full self-driving. He told Electric, a very high resolution radar would be better than pure vision, but such a radar does not exist. I mean, vision with high res radar would be better than pure vision. Sure enough, two years later, Tesla is now including high-resolution radar in its latest sensor suite for autopilot and full self-driving. So that doesn't exist. That's why we're not using it. Oh, by the way, it does exist, and we're going to start using it after we are, you know, getting reamed out the ass with complaints for cars that are almost crashing because we removed the sensor to save a few fucking dollars. And here's the thing. Like, you can find them funny. You can find him entertaining. You can read through his Twitter and say, eh, I kind of agree with that. Or, yeah, that's kind of funny. Uh, yeah, I don't like that person that he's making. I, I can understand that. I don't always agree with him. Sometimes I find him funny. Sometimes I find him to be an idiot. But what I don't understand is how so many people can't see through to the fact that this man is a professional bullshit artist in every sense of the word. This is reminiscent of a video that Tesla did on their website demonstrating full self-driving that many employees have come out and said was stitched together and also included the car sent almost crashing itself into a fence that you conveniently don't see in that video. In this video, they say that the driver is only there for legal purposes, that he is not actually required here, it's just there for legal purposes. And this, as I mentioned in this video, turned out to be complete and utter Bullshit. This guy is such a scam artist. I mean, like, I understand if you find his tweets funny. I understand if people enjoy watching him just, like, poke a stick in the eyes of people that think they're better than you and just find them funny. I get it. I get it. I may even, on occasion, depending on what he's saying, laugh along with you and find it funny. How this man has convinced so many people into believing that he is not a lying scammer is beyond me. I will never understand it. I likely never will. This is separate from the fact that every now and then I can scroll through his Twitter and get a good belly laugh out of it. Because sometimes, sometimes, I'll admit it, I find what he says funny. But I ain't simple for him. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. That's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye now.